here, a poem in penance. You cannot enslave a mind that knows itself, that values itself. It won't listen to the blah, blah, blah. Scientists simply tell us to prepare. There are maverick engineers with magic eyes looking big and small. With their sand trays and soil samples leading by reason and example. In the dark stillness we cannot see phytoplankton absorb carbon, release oxygen, creating clean air for us to breathe. Scale is important. Phytoplankton are awesome. Single planketly manage one third of absorption of our CO2. It's a lot, but they do. Science is open source magic. If enough of us believe we can capture carbon airborne and store it safe beneath the seas for eons. Sediment, fertilizer, sleeping in salt water. Barometers, satellites, isobars, shared knowledge can save the planet. I believe it's called resilience. And resilience we're going to need. Below, six people circle a wildfire. Teach it to sit, stay, show its red paw. The advocates for nature terraform the law, defend the interests of the poor and save the climate. Why not try it? In the water, ordinary citizens become scientists. When you educate a woman, you empower a community. Oh. Oh, fire. The idea. But what can we do, you and me, me and you? Let's take the children out the classroom and put them by a tree. For any kid with a bucket of elvers knows the Earth's deep currents can't be tamed. This place knows our deepest need. All we must do is feed it. Simple. Something so simple being life-changing. All the keys are here. Imagine a future you love rather than one you fear.